right, so uh, it's 4.45 in the morning. Uh, was it March 8th, I think it is? It's Friday, March 8th. 4.45 in the morning. I literally just woke up. First thing I see, I just, you know, sometimes I just randomly wake up. I don't normally get up till about, I don't normally get up till about 5, 5.15 sometimes. I just randomly woke up and uh, so I had to see what's happening on social media. First thing I see is the homie group chat changed its name, changed its, you know, the, us, me and the homies, the gas crew, we have our group chat. Uh, they changed the picture to a Toriyama. And I'm like, huh, look at that. There's Toriyama son. Well, what's up with that? We lost the Toriyama. He's gone. He passed away a couple days ago. This is the type of thing I don't like waking up to. To realize one of the greatest artists, storytellers of all time, who just happened to write one of the greatest stories ever told that just happens to be my favorite manga slash anime of all time is gone. This is, I mean, I just had to come in here and just, you know, turn the camera on and uh, just talk about it for a minute because I know if it wasn't for Dragon Ball, if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball anime wouldn't be where it is today. It was Dragon Ball Z that brought and that truly brought anime to the mainstream. And when I say that, I mean Toonami had took off. When Dragon Ball Z showed up on Toonami, it put eyes on the product. When it put eyes on the product. It brought anime to the mainstream. Every, all of us can, everybody out here can relate about coming home after school, turning on Cartoon Network at five o'clock every single day to watch Goku do the impossible. And it brought confidence out of all of us. It built confidence in all of us. It changed lives. Dragon Ball Z was... Dragon. That show just happened to show up at probably the worst... One of the worst times in my life. When it was literally the only beacon of hope that I had. And I remember how my family, they're going to be mad at me for putting them on the spot. But I'm going to put them on the spot because this is part of the situation. This is part of the whole thing. My family was not behind me liking Dragon Ball. They thought it was the stupidest thing on the planet. And I said, watch, one day, this shit's going to be huge. And it's and look at, and look what happened. It brought me, Dragon Ball brought me all kinds of joy, happiness, excitement. All thanks to one man who had one vision. Who didn't realize at the time how much he was going to change the world. 
Akira Toriyama has done so much. He's one of the hardest working artists of ever. I mean, not only he didn't just do Dragon Ball, he did Doctor Slump. He did Plant. What was that? Planet Patrol. I think it was the one with uh, oh sh, oh god, I forgot what that one. And then of course he did Sandland. He did a whole bunch of that. He did illustrations. He did the illustrations for Chrono Trigger. He did the illustrations for Dragon Quest. He like I remember there was fan backlash when the movie Dragon Quest Your Story came out when the trailer dropped. And there was fan backlash because Akira Toriyama wasn't involved. Which was crazy, which was hilarious. It's like, dude, Akira Toriyama was working on Dragon Ball Super at the time. And I believe he was doing Dragon Ball Super Broly. Which still to this day is my favorite Dragon Ball movie of all time. I mean, Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Super Superhero was good, but Broly still inches it out, type so kind of. And then Dragon Ball Daima, he was working on that when he left, when he, when he passed. We we still got Dragon Ball Daima coming out. There was a whole bunch of other projects he was currently working on that I really hope get finished. I mean, of course, by his by his people, but that, I mean. That's really up. That's really up to them. I mean, uh, Sandland, from what I've seen, is really good. I haven't. I haven't finished watching it. Uh, I've seen. I've seen a tad bit of Sandland. What I saw was good. The Sandland video game just dropped. I got. Yeah, I got. I'm sorry, I'm just ran I know, I'm just rambling, but I just had to come on here and make a quick video. I was supposed to drop the uh, the Tiny Toons vs. DuckTales video today, and that's obviously, it's de it's delayed because of this, because, um, well, this is, yeah, I'm going to delay that video in, for a couple more days, because there's a Toriyama tribute that I'm gonna add to it because I think it's right to do that on top of this but uh, I had to come on here real quick and just do a just do my thoughts on it because you know it's losses like this we it's losses like this we know how life works there are people around in our lives who we just for whatever weird reason we just expect them to just be around forever um Kira Toriyama was one of those people and like I said he was one of the greatest artists storytellers who ever lived Prayers and condolences go to his family. To the entire Dragon Ball community, hell, to the entire anime community in general. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Thank you. Thank you, Toriyama-san. Thank you.